In criminal law, the two fundamental elements a prosecutor must prove to secure a conviction are the defendant's guilty mind, or mens rea, and his guilty act, or actus reus. In State v. Quick, the court explained that a defendant who merely possessed the requisite mens rea may not be convicted unless he also made some overt act toward committing the crime. In 1941, police officers of Marlboro County, South Carolina, discovered two liquor distilleries on property owned by Shuford Quick. Although neither distillery was operating at the time, it appeared that both had been used recently. After the officers waited to see whether anyone would show up to the distilleries, they began driving away, and were met by Quick's vehicle about 100 yards from the distilleries. In the vehicle, the officers discovered Quick, two young men, two young children, and large quantities of ingredients used to manufacture liquor. The officers arrested Quick, and he was charged with the unlawful manufacture of intoxicating liquor. The trial court denied Quick's motion for a directed verdict, and a jury found him guilty. Quick appealed to the South Carolina Supreme Court, arguing that the court erred by instructing the jury that Quick's intent to manufacture liquor alone was enough to find him guilty.